Hi, welcome to my blog. My name is Tom Shu, and today we're going to be doing a user requested tutorial. And this tutorial comes out from Mike Spivey. He says, I really enjoy your tutorials. Suggestion about how to do a tutorial to assemble time lapse in Photoshop CS6. I just can't figure it out. Thanks. Okay. So, as you know, time lapse is a video created by a sequence of images okay when you shoot an image sequence is what it's called and you play it back at a certain frame rate you'll get video well Photoshop can do that and the way I'm going to show you how to do it not only can you do it in CS6 you can assemble the video and all the way back to CS3 in the same way now again with Photoshop there's a lot of ways you can do the same thing I'm just going to show you a way or the way that I like to do it inside Photoshop now what you'll need to make sure you have is a series of images that have a consecutive count on them so you don't want to try to mix a whole bunch of different files together and create a time lapse out of them if they're just random files from different shoots you'll need to make sure that your your images are in sequence so when you started shooting them one then two then three then four now let's go here to file and click open okay and it, you go to the folder where your images live in this case I worked on a uh, 3d motion graphics project for a bumper for photo focus where I contribute sometimes uh, some of you guys also follow Scott Bourne he's a great guy and um, I assist him a lot on photography projects and he's let me use photo focus as a platform so we worked on I worked on this project which still isn't completed because he's not real happy with my audio choice anyways that's another topic so what we'll do is we'll select the first image and if you'll see that it's just called rendered files this is a tiff and you notice that the size you wanna take note of the size of your project so when you render it out as a video you can remember it's gonna be 1280 by 720 and for a full motion video you want it to be around 30 frames a second the faster the frame rate, the slower the video will play, and the slower the frame rate, the faster it will play. So, 30 frames a second is standard motion. So what will you do is select the first one, and down at the bottom of the screen, it'll say image sequence. And this is a sequence of images. So Photoshop will select number one, number two, number three, and bring them all. You don't want to select all and bring them in, because it will just, just crash the computer. What we'll do is we'll click image sequence, click open, and it's going to ask us the frame rate. Now, I want to play back at standard rate video, which is 30 frames a second. Okay? It's 29.97. We'll just call it 30. And if you hit this box, it'll give you 29.97. But for this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead. A lot of guys for the internet use 24, 25. But we're going to be using 30 frames a second here. So we click OK. And you see that it inputs all of those frames in the timeline. Now, if we hit play, what will happen is it will start to render those files as a buffer. And it's going to play back the video. And it's going to take a while for this thing to render through to the end. i got a pretty fast computer, so we'll just let it go. It's going pretty fast. Basically, it was just a Lightroom tutorial bumper that I was going to add to uh, the intro to the videos that I did for photo focus it, but you do the same thing with uh, photos you know raw files so now when we play back the image we will start it at the beginning we'll go over here and click to the left and we play back through it won't be slow it will go through and play normal okay well relatively normal it's still pretty slow because it's buffering through a lot of large files it's eating up a lot of memory and you can see the frame rate down here at the bottom it's saying 30 frames a second so it's rent it's playing back at full speed so it says so now that we've got the files in and we've rendered them as a sequence and we pre-rendered them by pushing play and it let it build that file let's go ahead and save them as a format so if you click file and you go down to export and it'll say render video so we're going to render video and here we're just going to choose a name and we'll call it let's just call it test for photo focus okay and then you select a folder an output folder 
in this case it's going to be the photo focus project on the in the my L drive and it's going to use the Adobe media encoder to render the file you can do it as an image sequence but the format we're going to be using is H.264 where it's going to be high quality you notice that the size of the file is going to be the same as the size of each one of the the size of the video is going to be the same as the size of an individual file and we're going to give it 30 frames per second we can choose to manage color or not I'm going to manage color and you want to render all the frames or if you only want to render maybe 20 of the frames or the second half of the video or whatever your case this is where you would select the frames there's 500 frames in that 16 seconds of video and uh, we're going to render all 500 you click render and it will kick it out okay I'll give you a with sound I added sound and just to mess around with it I'm gonna hit cancel because I've already done it I'll show you what it looks like let's pull it up here and we're gonna play it okay the audio is probably terrible because I just held up the mic to the speaker anyways that's it that's how you render an image sequence inside Photoshop and again you can do this in CS3 all the way to CS6 I want to thank you all for visiting my blog today and until next time we'll see you soon